welcome to the start of our next section, Adobe Photoshop. Let's start right away from the top left. Just like all Adobe software, we're going to go File New. This is going to open up a panel that says New. And in Photoshop, we don't really have a name for it, like an artboard or a composition. So let's say New Photo Film. I like that. So right away, you can name it. And then below, you have Presets. These presets are um, just ones that Photoshop offers you, like if you're going to print a paper or if we're going to go to web or mobile devices. So let's select mobile devices and look at that. We're not really going to look at these because they're for print, and that, that, that's why these lines are below. And then the last one is custom. So you can create a custom one, example, iPhone 5 Retina Display, and you can save the presets here. And the next time that you open up Photoshop, you'll have that preset saved. And we'll, I'll show you guys an example of that. Okay, so now we have selected mobile devices. Let's look. Right at the top, size. So we're, not, we're now working in pixels. We're not working with vector graphics anymore. We're, looking, we're working with bitmaps. So images that use bits of data rather than mathematical equations. So there's a whole bunch of predetermined settings. Um, we have the iPhone, we have the iPad. Um, so for this uh, lesson, we're going to learn iPhone 5 settings. That's going to be for this assignment. So let's go ahead and pre-build that. It's um, 640 by 1136. And for the iPhone 5, the pixels per inch, we can go to 128 which is nice. So that's the amount of pixels that you can put in an inch. So the more amount of pixels, the more amount of detail. We're going to use RGB color. We're not going to go to uh, CMYK color because that's for print. We're going to use red, green, and blue. This is called an additive process. It means we're adding red, green, and blue on a ba black background to add color. Compared to print, you're using CMYK, so cyan, cyan magenta yellow and key is for black and we're putting that on white so this is called a subtractive type of so let's go rgb um color and for bits we can go up to 16 bits for the iphone 5. it just means that we're able to put 16 different hues of color in one pixel so since i can do that i just have a broader range of colors um to be exact, you, you, you're going to have double the amount of different colors that you could do in 16-bit. Just because there's more shades, there's more options. Um, background, let's go with transparent. You can have a white background or um, put your specific background color. Little options. And for advanced, the color profile that we work with is going to be the one that's default. So working RGB. These are just kind of pre-engineered color algorithms for different monitors. Example, if I open this on an Android and I opened it on an iPhone, hopefully the colors look the same. Um, but like, let's say I was in Japan, I might use a different color uh, space because in Japan, in Japan, they have Japanese language. Their telephones might be using, you know, different coding and stuff like that. So it's just kind of a standard to um, make sure that so that across America, our color spaces look very similar. And we're gonna go with square pixels always, always for mobile and for the internet a square pixel is exactly that it's the same height as it is wide but in video so all these settings you might have different pixel sizes like widescreen you're going to have a pixel that's going to be uh, one width high is going to be two widths wide so it's going to be a larger pixel um, let's not get too much into that let's just make sure that we know that it's square pixel because um 
com- we're working mostly with computer graphics. We're not working with film. Nowadays, even your um, SLR cameras, so your digital SLRs, they shoot in square pixels. But like older cameras might shoot with a different pixel um, width and height. But so, Okay, so now I'm going to go, I could go save preset. I'll save that as iPhone 5. Hit OK. And then now when I go to the drop down, you're going to see that I have an iPhone 5 um, preset. Just for next time, I wouldn't have to plug in all this detail. And I'll hit OK. So there you go. Now we have our iPhone 5 photo film ready to be designed.